And you're not gonna believe what we just found. He just crossed that road right in front of us and went right into this thick brush here. A nine legendary jackal. <laughs> You ever have one of those days where you do something super cool and you can't believe that you actually did it until after it happened? And even after it happened, it still takes a little while to process the fact that it actually did happen. Well, today was one of those days and you're just gonna have to wait and see what I'm talking about. You know, this is quickly becoming my new favorite spot for Cape Buffalo, Warthog, and Jackal. It's an absolute beautiful spot out here, and we happen to have a max weight Cape Buffalo out there, so we definitely want to take him down. He's about 290 out. He's actually bedded. But we should be able to hold pretty much right on because we're kind of high up on this hill here. So we're going to hold right there. That should have hit kind of low lung, which is exactly what we're looking for. And that should take him down. Nice. So I'm going to show you on the map where we're at real quick. But this is a really cool spot. Yeah, <laughs> he just piled up. Uh, right here is the Novella Mutvla, and you can come here at pretty much like 6 o'clock in the morning. The Cape Buffalo feed here, and then they also drink here from uh, 8 o'clock until 12. But you can sit right at this point here and watch them cross. Like I was literally sitting right here and I could see Cape Buffalo crossing right here. It's a really good cross point. The best part is to get here early in the morning, like at 6 o'clock. That way when they're crossing, you can see them. If you get here at like 8.30, then potentially they're already drinking and they're not moving, so you can't see them as well. Also, another thing about this spot is we had a track from a max weight potential jackal over here, and I think that might be the track right here. Eh, it's a jackal track, but it's not a max weight jackal. We got Warheart tracks down here, we got Cape Buffalo tracks down here, and we're about to run into a ton of Cape Buffalo right now, actually. And ended up getting a left lung at 291, a nice 132.9. Hit a little bit high, actually. We didn't have much drop because we we're up on the hill. I mean, the fact that we zeroed in for uh, 160 and we still hit exactly where we wanted to, that goes to show you that when you're up on high on a hill like that, you still got to hold a little bit lower than you usually would. But maybe we get lucky enough now and find the track from that big jackal. It would be so cool to be able to get one. The thing is, nine ledgers are really hard to find, and when you do find one, the odds of it being a diamond is very, very slim. There's a real decent kudu over there. I can just see the horn sticking up right over the top of that female. I can't spot it though, but I'm pretty sure it should be a nice four. He's about 260 out, and what I think we might do is take a shot with a longbow. That might get their attention. That thing's pretty loud, but what's sneaking in over here now? Is that a warthog or a jackal? There's something really small right close to the ground right over there moving and I can't quite tell what it is. Got another pretty good kudu there. That's a level three as well. Hmm. I really don't know what we can do. We could try and take down this nice four warthog. And maybe our big, uh, I guess he didn't hear it. <laughs> well, still don't have a shot. Maybe we could try and take down this other kudu if he's still there. Yeah, he is. That's still doesn't get his attention. Okay, I got a really good, but kind of a dumb idea. <laughs> Why don't we take a shot at this uh, female in the front first and we'll put a follow up in the big male after that. Well, it definitely worked. Would have worked. You know, we might be able to get him once he comes out to this opening here. There he is. Got him. Shot looked really, really good. Uh, give me a spotting. Ah, I couldn't quite get a spotting on him. It was a long ways out there, but it was going right for the lower front lung there. So thing is, I took a shot on a kudu like that before quite a ways out there like that. And I hit it in the, the vertebrae. So this time I held just slightly lower, which would have been or should have been right where the vitals were. So here's our warthog, a 48.7, ended up making a walking double lung liver stomach at 270. That's a really nice looking warthog there though. Really cool wide tusk. It seems like, yeah, I mean, it couldn't have worked any better. Made a perfect right lung heart shot at 260, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted her to drop right there and be able to give us a follow up on uh, that big kudu, but he decided to bolt. All right, so this is where we hit that big kudu walking away at pretty much like 430 yards 
I don't know exactly where we hit him, but hopefully we can find some blood here. Not only did we find blood, but that is a vital hit. That's a walking 430 yard vital hit on that huge kudu. Let's go over and go find it. I'm so excited to see where we actually hit on this big kudu. And not only that, to find out how big he is. He was so smart, we couldn't figure out a way to get a shot off. And finally, we had to take him walking at almost 430 yards. And we definitely made it count, so let's go find him. A 27.20, we made a walking 427 yard left lung shot. What a beautiful shot with a 270. I mean, that was actually right on the money. Almost a walking heart shot at 427 yards. Take a look at that. Beautiful, awesome kudu, and I'm so happy with that. I've never actually seen the jackal yet, but I've seen his tracks and I know he's gonna be a heavy jackal. I thought we'd come back here a little bit later now and we do have a jackal here, but it's definitely not a male and it's not very big, it's a female. But you know what? The big male should be somewhere over here. So we gotta pay attention because he shouldn't be too far away. And is it really gonna start raining now? Well, there's no sign of that giant jackal just yet, but I did find something kind of cool. That's a big old mythical resting at about 140 yards away. I think we're gonna try and take him down with a bow. It's gonna be kind of cool if we can actually see the tracer light up. And I actually see him too. 132. Definitely smoked him, hit a little bit high. But I would say we probably got vertebrae on. Uh, I don't know. How far? Okay, we're zeroed in for 130. We should have gotten vertebrae and double lung on that. I don't see why not. We might have hit spinal cord and lung as well. But that was a pretty incredible shot either way. <laughs> I mean, 130 yards. Oh my god. What the heck was that? Oh, that's another mythical. I, I haven't got a chance to see these yet, so I want to know just what they all are, but that's another huge mythical out there. Wow. We probably don't need night vision anymore at this point, but <sighs> so they're all bedded right here and we never even saw them. The only one that we could see is this big old mythical that was bedded out here. And what a heck of a shot we made. And here he is. The question is, what did we hit? Definitely got spinal cord. <sighs> and right lung, but a 138 mythical. I will definitely take that all day long as he was bedded. Take a look at that shot there. Hit slightly high, but that is not bad though. 145 yard. Looks like a single lung spinal cord and vertebrae on that huge mythical with a bow. We definitely just jumped up a ton of jackals, but I didn't see anything big in there. I don't know if like the biggest one already left before we got here or what, but there was a five, there was like two uh, females, and then there was a level six as well. In fact, here they come right now. They're actually coming back in. So let's go prone and get set up and see if we can uh, spot these guys coming back in here. Okay, so you can see all the tracks there. I just turned the tracks back on. You know all these jackal are going to be over here somewhere. But why did only one female come and the rest of them never came back? Well, I tracked that pack of jackals for quite a ways and I never did find them. So now we're trying to find drink time for the jackals here. And we found a big old mythical lion right there. And I don't think we're going to pass it up. He's about 140 out. So we're going to try and take him down with the bow again here. Because this is all we have. I think we got rid of the 300 magnum, but 100 yards. And that looked good. That's definitely a solid hit. He's coming at us though. I don't know if you like that too much. <laughs> 100 yards and he just got smoked. What a beautiful mythical lion too. Got another one out there. I Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> another mythical lion at 100 yards. I mean, gotta take him down too. Ooh, another solid, solid hit. <laughs> and he piled over before I could even spot him. I can't believe we just got back-to-back -back mythical lions out here. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I haven't really hunted lions on my own map in, in quite a while, especially this spot. And uh, that just happened, yeah. 
So we're still trying to find that jackal, the max weight jackal that was with the pack that we were tracking. I lost his track and uh, I don't know, I figured maybe we'll be able to find like where he's drinking after that. So that's why we're kind of over here looking for him and not going to pass up two mythical lions, that's for sure. I ended up getting 116 yard, looks like left lung liver stomach shot on that lion there. Really nice shot, 48.20 gold, which is almost a diamond actually wow that's a huge line and kind of the same thing with this one too he's probably going to score very similar to the same as that one this one was a little bit smaller 47.10 but ended up getting a double lung liver stomach shot at 113 on him and just barely missed the heart there you can see we hit what a perfect shot though and another huge mythical line we're actually getting a call from our first male jackal that we've seen in a while now. I haven't seen him yet, but he just put out a warning call right over there. That is not the one we're looking for. At least it's a male. And I think we're gonna take him down because it's literally the first male that we've seen in quite some time. Not only that, it's gonna be some good practice with the 243 here. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's pretend that part didn't happen. Can I cut that out somehow? Maybe you can only see that part. How about that? Oh, that's why you practice, see? I mean, you probably shouldn't really take a trotting shot on a jackal because it's a small target to hit, but I think we hit it again here, non-vital hit. Then we might've hit this thing three times. We did hit it three times. Uh, okay, that should have dropped it, but we hit too far back. Another shot we hit too far back. Didn't lead it enough again. And then the third shot was a beautiful running shot. 197 yards out and at 22.4. I checked literally every single water hole on the east end of my map. And this is the biggest jackal that I found. So we're definitely going to take him down. It's a nice seven very hard. He's out there at about 250. Perfect shot. He's down. I'm not kidding, this entire east end of the map, I checked every single water hole for that thing. Well, every big water hole, and he was nowhere to be found. So I'm really happy to be able to have this. A 25.4 gold jackal. And we got him at 194 out, a perfect left lung heart shot on him. So that's pretty sweet. You know what? I'm happy with that. Pretty cool looking jackal, and let's get him mounted because he's going to be our biggest jackal that we've gotten all day we need to get something that's gonna be at least 29 and up to be closer to a diamond which the max weight one is gonna be somewhere between 25 and 30 score so who knows what it's gonna score but I'm probably never gonna find it I'm gonna keep looking but honestly I'm a little bit burnt out from hunting my whole map for this one jackal so we decided to go to a multiplayer game and since our luck wasn't so good on Jackal, I thought, well, why not try and look for some Kudu? And you're not gonna believe what we just found. He just crossed that road right in front of us and went right into this thick brush here. A nine legendary Jackal. <laughs> it's not the same one. We're not on my map, but I don't even know how long it's been since I've seen a nine legendary Jackal. But here's another thing. We don't have the 243 on us anymore. <laughs> We do have the compound bow, and we also have the 300 grain small grain arrows. <laughs> so not only are we going to try and get this diamond jackal, but we're going to try and get him with the bow. So things are about to get serious, guys. Alright guys, let's make this happen. We're going prone, we're going to start crawling instantly, and we got to play the wind. Now we have a really good wind, and I don't exactly know where he's going to go. I don't have a zone or anything like that but I know he's gonna be this way somewhere. He was crossing that road in front of us there at about 150 yards out from us. And it seemed like he was kind of veering off this way to the right. So I'm thinking that if we stay left, we should be able to loop around and catch his track and see which direction he's actually going. Okay guys, do you see that right there? That's disturbed vegetation from our jackal. That's the track that we're on right now. And that means that he's going to be really close. I'm going to imagine it's probably going to say just now. We still have a really good win, but we're going as slow as we possibly can right now because we got to be super careful. Oh my God, you got to be kidding me. He's 12 yards away. 
He is 12 yards away right in front of us here. He's literally like 13 yards away from us right now, but we're not completely invisible. We got to get to a spot where we have better cover here. Even if we did stand up, we probably won't be able to see him good enough to take the shot. So we're going to try and slide over here a little bit more and try and be able to spot him here. Is that... I feel like that's him. That's got to be him. It's him. Oh my God, it's him. It's him and he's 13 yards away right there. I can just barely see him though. How are we gonna be able to take that shot? I think if we slide over a little bit more and then stand up, I can see him. I can definitely see him. He's right there. Okay guys, if we slide over a little bit, okay, that's perfect. 13 yards away. We're gonna hold it right tight to his front shoulder there and kind of tuck it in right behind his spine and the shoulder blade. That's kind of what I wanna try and do. All right, here we go. Perfect shot. That's a vital hit. Oh my god, he's down. We just took down a dime potential legendary jackal with the bow. And we snuck up to 13 yards away from this thing. I am so hoping he's going to be a diamond. That was awesome. I can't believe we... Oh my god, he's a diamond. A 29.40 diamond. A liver right lung at 13 yards away. Did we really just do that? Did we really just make that happen? We did. For the last like four hours, I was hunting my map to try and find that max weight jackal. I couldn't find it. We ended up taking down the seven. And then I switched over to try and hunt some kudu. And we ran into a nine legendary jackal on a multiplayer server. We didn't even have the 243, which I, I mean, I'm kind of glad we didn't because this is probably one of the most challenging things you could do. I'd say taking down a diamond coyote with a bow or a diamond jackal with a bow are just probably one of the toughest diamonds that you can get as far as challenge wise. Just because they're so eerie with their senses. Like if you get within 50 yards of them, they always know and they're almost always gone. But wow, we definitely made that happen. 13 yards away. Okay guys, I'm going to show you where we just got that huge diamond jackal from. We're over here by the Kila Rila outpost, which usually I come here for Kudu. And the jackal was actually bedded right over here at this location from 1530 until 1800. We snuck up on him right there and that's where we got him. And the hunt wouldn't be a hunt without bringing you guys back to our trophy lodge here. So we're going to go over here and put our diamond jackal somewhere. I don't exactly know where but there's our diamond lion there's our diamond truac muleys there we go we're gonna put them right there and let's see how we want them i think just like that that's gonna look really cool right there so yeah that's gonna look really really cool let's take a cool picture of him actually wow these are so rare it's not even funny and we got them with a bow i mean that's like unheard of I literally don't know one person that's ever gotten a diamond jackal with a bow. I mean, here's the thing though. Can you imagine if we got it and it wasn't a diamond? It still would have been super cool, but just the fact that it ended up being a diamond and we got it with a bow, it just, it really doesn't get much better than that. But yeah, that's going to be him. 29.4. So I would say that's kind of like a medium sized diamond, you know, smaller to medium, which I am so happy with that. And that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Give a little bit closer of a view of this guy here. Yeah, that's so cool.